नमस्ते वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल आई एम प्राणेश आई एम एन आई आई सी बैंगलोर एलेमनस एंड द फाउंडर ऑफ क्यूबिड एजुकेशन सर्विसेस वी आर सॉल्विंग द एसर एप्टीट्यूड टेस्ट टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू फिजिक्स पेपर विच इज़ अवेलेबल ऑन देयर वेबसाइट एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी सॉल्विंग क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन विच इज़ बेस्ड ऑन द रिस्पॉन्स टू एक्सटर्नल वोल्टेज बाय अ रजिस्टर एंड इंडक्टर एंड अ कपैसिटर The problem says in the given circuit, the box B either contains a capacitor, or an inductor, or a resistor. The current I versus time t plots for three cases A1, A2, and A3 are shown in the figures. The switch S is closed at time t equal to zero. Which of the following is correct? In A1, we have a horizontal line for current varying with time. In A2, we can see the current decreasing with time, and in three, we can see the current uh, increasing with time, and then trying to be asymptotic with a horizontal line. Well, this is actually a common sense question, or I would say a qualitative question. There is no mathematics involved here. We don't need it. Uh, to begin with, let's start with a capacitor. okay and because we have a dc source here we know that once the capacitor is charged once the capacitor is charged the current in the circuit will drop to zero correct so as the time progresses for the capacitor circuit the current is going to drop down with time so a2 will be uh, corresponding to the capacitor okay a2 corresponds to a capacitor so it is either option a or option d okay a2 corresponds to capacitor a2 corresponds to capacitor now uh, let us talk about an inductor let's talk about an inductor now in inductor what happens we have learned this in electromagnetic induction and ac circuits and that is lenz's law any change that is taking place in the current will be opposed correct but eventually uh, the inductor will start behaving as a resistor or i would say a closed circuit thing for a dc correct for a dc if if we have an inductor here then what will happen initially it will face some opposition due to lenz's law due to electromagnetic induction back in but once the current establishes itself and reaches its peak value it will not change with time and it will become a steady current which means this represents an inductor third current initially increases and then becomes stable so a3 is inductor and that is option a a3 is inductor that is option a and if we apply ohm's law for the resistor what do we observe there the current remains constant because the current is given by v upon r assuming the resistance to be ohmic resistance it doesn't change with time it changes only with potential difference and resistance so that is e1 okay so that is option a e1 corresponds to resistor e2 corresponds to a capacitor e3 corresponds to an inductor 